Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I get a lot of questions by email, telephone, and various other sources about shaving with sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, the number one thing you want to do Make sure your equipment is clean, a clean blade, a sharp blade, and even the towel that you use to wipe up afterwards, everything needs to be clean so that you don't run the risk of infecting your skin because when you shave, you are removing the outermost layer of skin when you shave with a safety razor, a straight razor, cartridge razor, whatever the case may be. So I'll show you today the process of going through the pre-shave, the shaving cream, and then the aftershave and we'll use the Parasso lineup, which is the white line, which is designed for sensitive skin. The pre-shave right here, it's the newest packaging. This just came out. We just got this a couple days ago. This will be the pre-shave and Parasso. If you're not familiar, they're from Italy. They've been around since 1926. So they're time tested, very good products and reasonably priced. Pre-shave, then we'll use the shaving cream from the tube and What's good about these is the fact that they're made with oatmeal and green tea. So they're cooling and calming. It's got a good effect for the skin, designed for sensitive skin. You don't really want to use menthol, eucalyptus, anything with essential oils, because that will disturb your skin, irritate your skin, and that will cause problems for you. So stick with something that's designed for sensitive skin, such as this. So it's going to be the Parasso Pre-Shave, and then it's going to be the Parasso shaving cream in the tube. And we're going to lather it up in the Shave Nation bowl right here, filling up that lather spot down there at the bottom. After the shave, we'll seal off the face with the Shave Nation wide stick alum block, and then rinse that off, and then go for the Parasso, same white line, sensitive skin after shave balm. The balm will soothe, calm, protect the skin, give you an invisible layer of protection throughout the day. Good stuff. And whether you shave with a safety razor or a straight razor or a cartridge razor, you can use these products. But what I'll do, I'll shave with a straight razor today. First pass with a straight razor will make it interesting. Here's the sleeve that it comes in right here. This is a Boker King Cutter straight razor right there. There's a look at it. It's the exact same razor as the Shave Nation Boker razor. You can see right there, same razor but it says Shave Nation on this one. And we sell this one for quite a bit less because they make it for us and we want you to get into straight razor shaving. We want to make it uh, pretty reasonable for you to do so. But I'll use this one today, the King Cutter. I've used the Shave Nation one in several other videos. You can check that out. First pass with this one, round point carbon steel. Great place to start. Easy to shave with this razor, easy to learn on. And then the second pass, I'll finish that up with the Shave Nation Safety Razor, the Chubby Razor. Here's a look at it. Nice thick handle, really easy to grip. So we'll complete the second pass with this Safety Razor. That way you can see both in action. And the brush I'll use is the Omega by Parasso Bore Brush. Very nice, reasonably priced brush as well. Great place to start. It's a stiff brush, so if you prefer a brush that doesn't flop over, this will be great for you. And it's a bit scritchy and scratchy on the face. Not real soft, which may not go well with your sensitive skin. So you may want to go with something different, such as a Simpsons Trafalgar, which is much softer, if you do have sensitive skin. I'm pretty good with this brush. I haven't had any irritation or reactions from it, so I'll stick with this just to keep everything in the Parasso line. But if you want to switch it up, Simpsons Trafalgar T1, T2, T3. Check them out. I'll put links to all these items under the video. Uh, you can click where it says show more and grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box and it'll pop right up. Let's put that down. Okay, first step, I will, I'm gonna fill up my marble cup with some hot water and drop the brush right in. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. By the way, this brush is probably about 10 years old. I've had it for a long time. That's why it's not super shiny like a new one. I'll just drop it right in there. 
few bubbles popping. It's soaking up the water. That's what it looks like when it's saturated. So we'll let that sit for a couple minutes. And first up, let's mix up a lather. I'll take the Shave Nation ceramic bowl. It is ceramic, so it will retain some heat. We'll warm it up under the hot water. Also most important to shave after a shower when your face is nice and clean. Here's the Parasso shaving cream. Let's put some down in there, right into that lather spot down at the bottom, just like that. Fill up that lather spot. Remove the brush from the water. Just give it a little bit of a shake to remove the bulk of the water. And we'll go right in here and see if we can mix a lather. Just pushing the tips of the brush down into that lather spot, swirling around that shaving cream. This has just a light scent to it. It's nothing that you can really pin down. It just actually just smells like a cool, fresh scent. So you can see 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Look at all that lather. Nothing to it. So quick. More than enough lather for several passes right there. We'll set that down. I'll warm up my face and we'll get right to the shave. Okay, face is warm. As you can see, it's turned red from the hot water. Take a little bit of this Parasso pre-shave right here. Just gonna scoop a little bit out with my fingers and right in the tips, massage that together. And this pre-shave will soften your beard and hydrate it so that you will apply your shaving cream directly over it. This will prepare the beard for the shave. Massage that in all the areas you'll shave. And just leave that right on the face Pick up your shaving cream. We'll go right in and commence to lathering. Little figure eight across the bottom here. Very nice. Nice and cool. Good coverage. Nice lather. Let's clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. Okay, we've got the straight razor ready to go. Two fingers in the front, two fingers in the back. I'll stretch the skin like so and then just cut that sideburn. Just like that. And just follow down. Right down the neckline. Just using the shaving cream as a guide to go around the goatee. Lots of stubble on there. Now we'll go down the left side. Just cut that sideburn, same way. Very good. Lots of stubble. Let's rinse that. So it's right hand on the right side, left hand on the left side.
Very good. One pass. Pretty clean right there. Both sides. Let's rinse that. Now let's clean out this midsection here. Let's rinse that. Let's grab our brush and bowl and relather for the second pass with the safety razor. Clear the runways again. First pass I went with the straight razor with the grain. Now we'll go against the grain with the safety razor. Let's warm it up under the hot water. I'll go against on the neck and then across on the cheeks. Just stopping right where it hits the beard. And across now. Again, stopping right at the beard. And backhand. Very good. You can use that white line as a guide. Now a final rinse. While the face is still damp, Crack the cap on the Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block under the cold water, saturate it, and then just glide that all around. Potassium alum, excellent finish to your shave. A natural, a natural product, it comes from the earth. It's an astringent, so it will seal off your skin, close your pores. Also great for sensitive skin. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Now pat the face dry. Dry the beard. All right, let's crack the cap on our Parasso aftershave balm for sensitive skin. Just a little bit in the fingertips. Not too much, a little bit goes a long way, just like that. Goes on very cool, calming to the skin, refreshing, very nice finish to the shave. And you can do your forehead if you don't break out, but if you do, then refrain from applying it to your forehead. And just let that air dry. You can take your barber towel and fold it over, like so. Very nice and cool. Excellent finish to the shave. Baby smooth after two passes, one with the straight razor, one with the safety razor. And if you want to see the straight razor in three passes, check out my other videos. I have uh, single pass, two pass, three pass shaves with the straight razor. You can check those out as well. I also have a lot of videos with the safety razors. They're all different types. So check those out too. Let's straighten up the beard a little bit. Got my Parasso palm brush for the beard. Comb it out. This is great for exfoliating your beard and straightening all the hairs. And I don't like when the beard grows into the lip, so I'll do this with my trimmers. Just slightly, so you get a little bit of a, a line here across the bottom. Brush that. Now the Parasso Beard Oil. It's got a dropper mechanism, so just squeeze it, fill up that dropper, and then a couple drops right into the beard. 
just like that. You can massage that in or comb it through or both. This will give your beard a nice healthy look, a nice sheen. So it doesn't look dry and brittle. All right, there we go. An excellent shave designed for sensitive skin with the Parasso lineup of products. Oatmeal and green tea, soothing and calming. Very good for taking care of your skin, especially if you have some issues with sensitivity. If you want to pick up any of the items in the video, just click down below where it says show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box and it'll pop right up. Do me a favor before I head out, smash that subscribe button down there and then click the bell up there and then click all. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.